Good morning, everyone. I'm John Ragsdale, Interim Dean here in the School of Theology at Azusa Pacific University. And I want to talk to you about joy once again. I'm going to be talking a lot about joy in the coming weeks. In the Parable of the Talents, we have this parable of the kingdom, and it, we know uh, that the, the parable is about being faithful in the kingdom with those things that have been entrusted to us. But in verse 21 and in verse 23, the, the master um, says something about joy that has me reflecting a little bit uh, today. And that is in rewarding the, the servant that brought back an extra five talents and the servant that brought back an extra two talents. Jesus says to both of them, well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things enter into the joy of your master. And certainly this has uh, eschatological uh, overtones uh, to enter into the joy of the master and the servant uh, with the one talent that is not productive with his um, measure of the kingdom is cast into outer darkness. But there's something else here. It's interesting to me that uh, Jesus talks to these two servants and says, you know, I'm, you've been faithful over a little, now I'm going to make you faithful over much, and implies then, I think pretty strongly, that there's more work to do. And with that then, enter into the joy of the master. And that has me thinking today about how sometimes we think of joy as just being uh, able to relax and, and, and enjoy the time or the thing that one's doing, a vacation kind of thing. But Jesus here seems to be, in one way or another, uh, connecting joy of the master with work yet to do. And so as we start this week, I want to encourage you in the work that you have to do, find the joy of the master in that. Find the joy associated with fruitfulness and faithfulness in the kingdom. All right, my friends, have a good week. Bye-bye.